right, you guys. It is currently a Sunday and I am out here fishing in a pond near my house. It is the clo- What the heck is that duck? That's a weird duck, folks. That's a weird duck. Never even seen one of them. Ducks are never in this pond. But anyway, let's get to the point. I am fishing in a pond near my house. And there's a fire station right here, and there's public everywhere. And this design, this pond, this is is designed for actually fishing. And there, it's insane. There's, I've caught like a three-pound bass. I caught um, a real nice five-pound mus or northern, not a musky, but northern. And it's just insane. There's bullheads all over. It's really muddy if you can see too. So it can be a challenge, but these fish are just so hungry all the time that they're looking for anything else to eat besides sunfish and bullheads. So we are going to try and see if we can't catch a bass or a northern or maybe even some other kind of fish but i don't know what other kind of fish would be in here so stay tuned and we'll see you once we have all right folks oh oh that's a fish that's a fish all right it's a little oh look at that look at that it's a little bike oh boy he swallowed that to his butt they're not so bad but i mean this is going to be risky because I did not bring a players with me, so this is going to be kind of challenging. Oh, it's messed up in his thumb and ev or his tongue. Poor little guy. Crap. Ow. Ooh, got a little bit of his gill. My finger went in his gear, that kind of hurt. Folks, I am sorry if I do anything that you don't, that is offensive to you, but these little fish are just too hard to get off. And yes, I am deeply, deeply sorry if I offend you in any way. It's just, I'm a kid and you can't expect a lot from me, unlike an adult, but looks like he's breaking away free a bit. These things are just slimy. better let go of my lure. Come on, he's got the tail of my lure in his mouth. He's got to let that go. Alright, there he is. Alright, folks. Nice little northern pike in this local pond. Let's let him go so he can grow nice and big. There he goes. Woo! You can see my hands are very dirty. Alright, well that was about like a, uh, I don't know, 12 inch pike, not big, but well, I'm sure I'll catch bigger. See you guys in a bit. Alright, we're hooked up on another fish. It's another little northern. A little pike, even smaller, oh my gosh. Look at that little guy. <laughs> so cute. Nice hook set. Easy release. Easy release. Well, I dropped them. They're nicknamed Slimer for a reason. A little smaller than the other one and a bad release. Very, very bad release. That was fun. Let's get another. Like, I've caught, I just caught both of them fish in like under... 10 minutes. You find the right spot at the right pond, you can just hammer them. 
Now I'd recommend using a swim bait and small ponds near that you know are stocked and local areas because they're usually fished a lot and there's only very couple species so I recommend using a small swim bait. I'm using a storm swim bait. It's the smallest size I could find and I just got this today. It's a nice color. I like the flashy tail and then the, that tail. That tail is very critical in muddy waters like this. That vibration, they can see that and they can probably feel it from 10 feet away. So that is very critical in some muddy water. And again, just, it's easy to find a pond that's stocked. But it's not necessarily going to be by your house. So go to your maybe local DNR website and maybe you'll find some ponds they might have a program like the minnesota dnr has a program that is called the take a kid fishing and they stock local ponds near your home and they encourage adults to take their kids fishing and i've just found this and now i can fish these ponds so just go on the DN dnr website and do that and you might find a pond you never know and then just like i said little swim bait just cast it out there reel it in that's all you need to do even bobbers you can fish for bullheads or anything just fish people okay oh my gosh folks oh my gosh check that a karapi a karapi That guy was close. Oh my gosh. A black carape. Look at that thing. It's not very big, but oh my gosh. They call him paper mouse. Earlier I had a bite and I missed him. Wow. That, I am so surprised that I caught a crappie on this nice little swim bait. Nice little swim bait in the crappie's mouth. It's beautiful. Let's let him go. He has the weirdest reaction I've ever seen to that. Because they were like, everyone on the car was like freaking off. Hopefully you get a slow release. There he goes. Watch him. Wow. There he goes. Folks, we have caught a black crappie. So let's cross off the largemouth bass, the northern, and the black crappie. Now there's no, there's, I, I can almost guarantee you there's no walleyes in here because they would end up dying. And there's probably, and I guarantee you there's no smallmouth bass because the, the fish that are in here are white, white crappies, black crappies, largemouth bass, northern pike, and there is bullhead, sunfish, and some other sunfish. The green sunfish and some other ones. So we'll see you guys when we get another amazing catch. All right, we're hooked up here. They got a little northern. Tiny guy. Sweet. Look popped right off. It's a nice northern folks. It's a nice tiny northern. Now, he's gonna end up running away so we won't get the slow release. See, there he goes. Boom. See you guys when we got another fish. Oh, there's a fish. Oh little guy oh my gosh that's a small oh jeez popped off right here nice come here come here come here no 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 stay out of the water no some people want to see you some people want to see you 
Okay, well, he ain't gonna give up. It's about the smallest northern yet. And we had some pretty small ones. Yeah, I wanna have to show you something. I don't know if you can be able to see this or not, but. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pores. And that is how you determine whether it is a northern or a musky. And I don't know how many muskies have, but I've, I've all, the bigger ones I'll show you some other time. They have pores. And you get to see just what they are and what species they are. So I'll see you guys when I got another fish. Peace. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Whew. Sweet. Got him. Whew. Going on a little run there. Finally got you. He bit it about like two times before. Just set this pole down, and then I'll get the fish out back into the pond. It's okay. Sorry, you guys, if I just go like that because I have bad past experience with northern pike. Well, um, when I was younger, I didn't know any better, so we, me and my dad were trolling on the lake. It was the opener, and there's a nice northern. Let's get the good little release. Nice and slow. Yeah, kind of. Okay, well the story is, me and my dad, we were, we were, it was the opener of 2015, and we were fishing, we were trolling, I had a little northern on, like, maybe two times bigger than that, and I was going down to grab it, and there was treble hooks, and I was using treble hooks, you know? So I went down to grab it and it shaked in the the hook. Went right straight into my thumb. Like right in center. And I come up and I'm like, oh my gosh! I was screaming. And the hook was stuck. One hook, one treble hook was in my finger. The other was in the about a pound, pound and a half northern, kind of like these sized ones. And it was just flopping around like crazy, and it was yanking, 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 getting deeper into my finger, and I was so scared. And then at the end, when my dad had to yank it out, I didn't even know my dad yanked it out. I'm like, "Can I bite your shirt?" And he's like, "Sure." So, and then I bit it, and then he yanked, and it didn't come out, and then the second time, he's about to yank it, he yanked it out, and I didn't even feel it, I'm like, I was, I said, did you yank it out? And he's like, yeah, and he started fishing already without me. And that was scary, so my lesson learned there was never just approach a northern quick just get ready to grab it and once you grab it squeeze hard and make sure when they flop around pull your hand away as quick as you can and I I learned that lesson very well so that's why if you ever see me with the northern and I pull my hand away real quick that means that I I am afraid of getting hooked again and just the other day, week ago, I got hooked right in the arm, down 
down here and that hurt really bad too my dad had to yank that one out but that one wasn't as bad so we'll see you guys when we got another fish